Yo, what up, you little niggas? <laughs> it's like, um, yo, what up? It's your boy, the king. Uh, I think I'm one of the only people on YouTube to post a full raid Dom gameplay. I mean, you, I'm sure you guys have plain, plain, plain. I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of like, you know, one rounders. Maybe like, like you know two minutes of the first round and then some of the second round I don't know dude but full game ground war that's that's rare dude that's a rare air but uh this is the long awaited no it's not nice little triple kill on the split screener level two we got some uh we got a few sweaties in here we got a few dorks this kid's ninth prestige already and there's an eighth prestige and a fifth prestige in this game I am second prestige so this is pretty much years ago because I'm currently ninth received myself right now, so kids, uh, they have a brain. They qualify for having a brain, although the level two split screeners may not qualify. It's a nice little quick V set. I wish I was running the MP this game because the escrow stream didn't do anything. But um, yeah, this is the road to the uh, 30 kill streak that um. That uh, kicked my ass for a couple days, and this was uh, this is unintentional. This is back when my mic was broken. Um, I was gaming with Brent and Jeff, and as you can see, this is old because right now I would be all over C flag getting some capture kills, trying to get another V set as quickly as possible. But back in the day, when I didn't have this shit, played more passive, and some of those kids already quit because they mad. And for some reason, no, not for some reason, I know why a lot of people don't like to get killed by shotguns. Obviously, dying in this game is it's annoying. But, you know, dying to silent SMGs, and they have hardlining ghosts and diamond camo, that's annoying. Getting shot through and around walls is annoying. Dying to enemy kill streaks when you're not dying to give them the kill streaks is annoying. Getting blown up by random vans is annoying. Getting killed by uncooked frag grenades is annoying. Getting killed by some Texans that go two feet just when you kill them is annoying. Getting shot a million times by SVUs and XPRs is annoying. So there's a lot of annoying deaths in this game. Running over tactical charges is annoying. Dying to tactical charges when you have tac mask on is annoying. Uh, I died to a trophy system earlier. So there's plenty of ways you can die in this game. That's my point. And, you know, dying to shotguns isn't nearly that bad, okay? I feel like everybody that complains about the R870 hasn't really gamed with it. I mean, right now I'm camping like a little bitch, so this isn't the best example. But usually when you're running around with this thing on bigger maps, your life is on the line like 24-7. If I didn't pick up this MP7, I probably wouldn't have made it as far as I did. Um, Raid is a good R870 map, but... This right here, what, what am I supposed to do when they're all the way across the map? You know? Without my stun grenade or the MP7, I would be useless. Uh, I mean... And, and the thing is, there's one way where you aren't useless, okay? Well, first of all, look at these green arrows. This this, this is classic Christmas noobs right here. They all oh, just stop playing. Oh, dirt. We're smashing them. This dude's got kill streaks. I'm just gonna not play and go drink some more eggnog. <laughs> Like, Jesus Christ, pick up the controller, and then the blue row is not moving? That's scary shit right there. So, at this point, I knew that something was wrong. But, um, let's see, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. You're not completely useless in long-range encounters because of what I think is the most... Probably one of the most overpowered and just gayest things... Not only in this game, but in Call of Duty. The C4 in this game, stacked with Scavenger. I'm starting to think that I can't use it anymore. I mean, it's not as bad as One Man Army Tubes, but... Oh, uh, man. It's... It's... it's, it's ooh, I mean, of course you guys know what I'm talking about. If you really think about it, C4 isn't balanced at all. If they don't have Flak Jacket... They don't stand a chance. You can throw it in any building. You can blow it up when you want. It, you can toss it a mile. It destroys Semtex. Okay, Frag Grenade is good only because you can throw it farther. 
Besides that, C4 destroys it. You know, it's better than Betty. It's better than Claymore. It's better than half the weapons in this game, and this game has really good weapons. C4 is just an explosive shotgun when you really think about it. So anybody that complains about getting shotgunned should think about not using... Not... Okay, I just fucked that up. Anybody who complains about getting shotgunned should think twice before they quote unquote C4 sandwich somebody. Because it's the same thing. It's a one hit kill weapon or is that what it's called? Weapon explosive. I don't know what the fuck word I want to use right there. It's a one hit kill weapon for CQC that's gay as shit. The only difference between the C4 and the R870 is Flak Jacket can counter C4 and this thing can randomly get hit markers so they both will on the occasion not work which you know I don't know if that's a good or bad thing watch burn right here <laughs> I can't be having that this is a classic example of why VSAT with nubs doesn't work I mean I don't take advantage of it half the kids aren't playing there's two people on the right side of the map who knows what they're doing over there and I'm not going for B because I'm, I'm a little bitch I'm trying to stay in my little red room this kid's trying to get fucking quad feeds. You're gonna have to proceed to get quad feeds, dude. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, C4 is just as, if not gayer, than the R870. So, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, sh I'm sure other video could have showed this better, but this is, this is pretty good right here. Let's just spectate this right here. You know what would have killed him? The C4 I had. <laughs> oh man. Now, so that's the class I'm using. Lightweight Hardland Scavenger Winners. Not gonna find too many YouTube videos with that setup. Uh, I kept awareness, I think. Oh okay, yeah, here you go. I think I kept awareness third or fourth prestige because although it's not the best red perk and it won't always work if you're trying to stay alive awareness attack mask and like flag jacket are mandatory and you know this was before people started spamming tack charges and shit so I'd slap on awareness on a majority of my classes usually if we're in like a party and we're smashing kids I'll use extreme conditioning to run towards those arrows faster but this is one of those games where I felt like using awareness and nobody was in my party chat or I couldn't really hear Brandon Jeff, so I was pretty I was sounding pretty well, I guess. Right here I get fucking mowed down by a scar. And he's using lightweight hard line. You know, it's nice to see kids not use ghost in the kill cam. It seems like every single Call of Duty cut that comes out, the less YouTube cares about the players using the UAV jammer perk, you know. Black Ops one you were hated for it. Then Warfare 3 came out. Oh, support killstreaks. I'm gonna use Assassin because it's fair and balanced. Well, not really. And then this game comes out and it's so perfectly fine to use Ghost. When I watch commentary <laughs> and the first thing I see is a faded yellow arrow, I'm like, huh, ah, cool. That's great. Wonderful. Golf clap. I don't give a shit. You know? And Look at this kid, dolphin. <laughs> he dolphin dives in me and then gets hit in the head by my stun grenade. Oh man! And I'll talk about this more later. Later. When I die to hardline ghost scavenger attack mass silent SMGs with diamond camo, that's just that's just about as standardized. Like I'm taking the fucking SAT with that class, dude. Somehow they get a V set. You know why? Care package. Uh, I, I have certain theories in this game. If you're losing, your care package will get something good. And notice that one shot right there. In future videos, that one shot won't be reliable at all. Okay. Um, if you're losing, your care package will get something good. If you're split screening, you either have a permanent radar running, or you have juggernaut or stopping power. One of the three. 
Um, I've played against some split, split screeners recently. They either always know where I am, or they're drop shotting me, or their vectors kill in like one bullet, and it's really starting to piss me off. Um, let's see, what are some of the theories? I've twice I've ran into the gayest kids ever using LMGs with assault shield and they're not doing what the worm was doing no they're playing objective game modes and they get a portable head glitch with their toughness like variable zoom or hybrid optic diamond hammers and LSWs and f <gasps> me and Ryan played this game earlier on demo slums Man was I wishing, man was I wishing, I'm just gonna stop it there.